Islamic scholar claims that Jews plant trees to thwart Muslims on Judgment Day. Now, some of you will immediately know what this refers to, and others maybe not, so let's explain. In a bizarre twist, Syrian Islamic scholar Abdul Nafi al Rifai uh, claimed on a Kanat TV slash Channel 9 of Turkey that Jews strategically planted trees in Israel and Palestine to shield themselves from Muslims on Judgment Day. According to al Rifai, during the final battle, rocks and trees would betray the Jews' hiding spots to Muslims except for one tree, the Gakad. He cites a hadith saying, Allah will make the rocks and trees speak, and they will say, O Muslim, O servant of Allah, there is a Jew behind me, come and K-I-L-L him. Except for the Garqad, which is one of the trees of the Jews. al Rafai further alleges that Jews planted the Garqad tree in their territories, gardens, and homes, preparing for that fateful day. He even claimed that the Jerusalem municipality back in the 1970s ordered Jews to plant Garkad in their homes or gardens or their electricity and water supply would be cut off. I can't believe this. This is real news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This happened recently. This man... This on, on Turkish television. <laughs> This man legit believes that the Jews and the Israel government actually thinks that this Islamic hadith is real and planting trees is a good strategy for the day of judgment for Jews to be able to hide behind trees. Who has ever successfully hid behind a tree? Anyways, it depends on how big. But this, there's some really big redwoods. Yeah, but here. <laughs> they are planting. They are planting trees now. So for let's actually let's provide some context for people. There is a hadith that says in Judgment Day, Muslims would be hunting down. I, I'm I'm saying a pause because YouTube YouTube this is not my view. Jews, okay, they would be doing that to Jews. Okay, and they would K I L L each and every single one of them. Okay, and to and they will hide behind rocks. This is authentic hadith. This is authentic Islamic scripture. This is Sahih hadith. Okay, and he, this man believes this hadith so much because at least maybe you could go ahead, get away, get around this hadith by saying this is metaphorical or whatever. I mean, it's hard for me for you to make this hadith metaphorical. It's so anti-Semitic. Um, but this guy believes that not only this hadith is true, it's so true that the Jewish people also believe this. I've seen a lot of Islamic scholars and a lot of Islamic commentators acting like the Israeli government and the U.S. government believe in the Islamic they are wise enough, like the FBI, the CIA, the Mossad. <laughs> they have realized that these are true. Okay, they're not telling their population, but they have. They know they're smart enough. They have enough intelligence to know that the Mahdi is coming. They're preparing for for the Mahdi. They're preparing to fight the Mahdi. They're already brainwashing people in Hollywood and music so that when the Mahdi comes, they don't accept the Mahdi. They see the Mahdi as evil. They're always looking for clues and stuff. And this man, this scholar, believes that the Israeli government and other Jews are so aware of this happening that they're like, yeah, we're this is going to happen. The end of times is happening. The Mahdi, is, the Mahdi of the Muslims is coming. And we will be hunted down. And according to this hadith, we will be hiding behind trees. So, guys, let's plant more trees. <laughs> what? We need oh my a God. pod in every household. <laughs> oh, my God. So, like, like people, are, so people in our life chat know this hadith. Like, there was one guy who raised this. like, yeah, Suha is saying, yeah. yes, this is real. I personally studied this when I was in school. <laughs> and then D is saying, damn it, the plan has been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 
Yeah, no, like this oh, other guy, God. like he goes, like I know this, like he remembers this hadith. He's like, how do you say about this? The well, how do you say Chagaratri? Is that how you no, say it? Gargad. Gargad, Gargatri. Yeah. Yes. And <laughs> the Gargad is a genocidal tree in Sunni. Yeah, it's a tree that that betrays betrays the the Jews. Are like, hey, Muslims, there's a there's a Jew hiding behind me, right? No, that's that's the Gargad is the only one that doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, all the trees are no. So this is wrong. All the trees are genocidal. This tree is loyal. This tree is loyal to the Jews. Why is all this the tree other loyal trees to the Jews? are Yahtzees? And the Garkan yeah, is an anti-fascist. Oh yeah, because all the trees and rocks are obeying Allah, and they yeah. like every time a Jew hides behind them, the rock speaks and says like Muslims, Muslims, come! There's a Jew hiding behind me, or the tree like come, come! There's a Jew hiding behind me, but there's one tree that doesn't give him away. Oh, where is that? Why doesn't that tree? He's like the he's like those one of those people who you know during World War Two where Jews would go hide. And there was That's some what I'm saying. people that was it's like the anti-fascist tree. Yeah, the high it's people like in their the basement. Schindler of trees. This is the Schindler. It's a Schindler tree. It's a Schindler tree. Oh, Schindler's tree. <laughs> oh my God! And apparently, it's evil in Islamist tree. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, but the idea, because I watched the full video where he's giving these comments, and he talks about how he's like, you know, even I read an article, a Kuwaiti magazine in the 1970s that says that the Jerusalem municipality knew this so much that they mandated that everyone plant this in their household or else they will cut off their water and electricity. <laughs> the idea of that well, is so funny to me. So every time you see a Jew planting a tree, now you know the story. It's not because of the environment. <laughs> it's not because they just like it's good to plant. By the way, this is like look how look how he's changing something whole so wholesome into something so horrible. And the the people planting trees here are the baddies. The people who are going around and finding Jewish people behind trees to what? Okay, I want to. I googled Garkad tree to look at a photo of this, and the first thing that comes up on Google is a Medium blog post titled "The Reality Behind Planting Garkad in Israel," and it lists the hadith, and then it says, "Indeed, they are now planting this in occupied territories in the knowledge that Islam is right, and they know that there will be a confrontation between them and Muslims in the end of days, and that's where they're planting." <laughs> So literally what you just said is the first result that came up for me on Google. That they know it's right, which is why they're doing this. I don't understand. Like, that's not a very good plan. Like, wouldn't, like, if the Muslims have an army, like, if they're coming at you and you're hiding behind a tree, wouldn't they, like, at some point see it from, see you from the other side? Like, trees are not really efficient hiding places. I don't, this is so stupid. They're like, oh my god, there's so many Gargat trees, we can't find these people. This is so this is so childish, this is so stupid. This is your mind on religion, guys. This like this, and again, if you are a Muslim and you're like, Well, this is stupid, it's your hadith, it's your hadith, it's authentic scripture, it's part of your doctrine. So you have to own up to it. You're muted, you're muted, you're muted. Sorry, when I Googled this, I immediately see so many Islamic memes about conspiracies about this tree. <laughs> Wait, can we see? Or is it too much for YouTube? I I mean it's it's not like that interesting. It's just like, huh, what's going on here? What what's really going on with this tree, huh? What are the connections? Blah blah blah. You know? Is it true that the Garkad is Israel's Garkhan. national tree, though? Did they really do that? Wait. Oh my god. We... What? Oh, 
Okay, no, it's not true. It's not true at all. Okay, never mind. Um, Let me so far. Yeah, because there was an article talking about the Gorkhad being the national tree of Israel. I'm like, there's no way. It's not. It's the olive tree. Hmm. <laughs> It's so funny to see people <clears throat> like just saying this stuff so sincerely. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.